8.12 angle bisector theorem versus a median. Um, so this angle bisector theorem is similar to what we just did on the last lesson with the side splitter theorem. What it does is it states that an angle's bisector splits the opposite side of a triangle into segments proportional to the triangle's other two sides. So if they tell you that there is an angle bisector, meaning that a line bisects an angle, which means that these two are equal, then you can use this theorem. What this theorem allows us to do is again create a proportion of its sides. You can do x to 13 as 16 is to 11. You could do x to 16 as 13 is to 11. You could do 11 to 13 as 16 is to x. Every one of these you should be taking 13 times a 16 and then dividing by 11 because you'll have 11 times x. So 13 times 16 divided by 11, 18.9. Easy enough, now look at number two. Do not stop watching. Number two is actually even simpler if you catch it. It says segment BD is a median, does not say angle bisector, a median. What a median is, actually it does nothing with the angle. A median is a line that cuts another line in half. So if this cuts AC in half, I know that this CD is equal to AD. Solve for X. So if this is 10, all you gotta do is know that is also 10. So I'll have problems where it's some of these first and then some of these, and then they're gonna be mixed up to where you have to read. And don't forget that for the test, that if it's a median, all you gotta do is know that this is equal to this. You cannot set up a proportion um, for that because it's not an angle bisector.